Hey guys, so, um, this is my air dry clay, this is my review on air dry clay Crayola, and, um, yeah, okay, so, this is air dry Crayola, and, it's the white one, and, um, I got the 1.13 kilograms, um, so yeah, sorry about the blare, um, that's just the light. Um, because, like, right now my, my sister's sleeping. Um, so yeah. Anyways. Um. Yeah. Let's talk about the package. Um, the packaging. The packaging comes in this air dry container, which is really good because you could just store your clay in there. You don't need to put anything else. Just store your clay in there and just use it and then just close it again and then, yeah. That's really good. And it has this flap, these flaps, so that you don't just open it, so yeah. And it's really secured, so that's really good. Yeah, so let's get started on seeing the clay and stuff. So, yeah. So this is the clay, I've smoothed it and I don't know why I love doing that, but yeah. I keep this in a room temperature place, so it's really soft and really, kind of looks feels like liquidy and stuff. Um, so yeah, but, yeah, it looks, it, it's beige, it's not white, but when it's, um, dried, like, it dries, it's a bit white, I think, like, it looks white a bit, and it has a shimmer to it, which kind of look, which kind of is cool, because, like, it's beige, and then it turns white, so maybe it says, maybe that's why it's white, so I, I really don't know, but, like, it's beige, which is a con, so yeah, um, but the pro is, is that it dries white and has a shimmer to it, which is good, um, it's really good with acrylic paints, I don't like it with tempera and watercolor, I don't, it doesn't really look good, well, maybe it depends on the tempera that you, that, and the watercolor you buy, but like, I don't like it, I like acrylic paints better, so yeah. Um, and a pro is that it really, it hard, it hardens really good, it's like solid and really good, it's like powder clay, um, and it gives you a lot, which is good, um, and yeah, so let's get on with the consistency of the clay and stuff like that. It kind of sticks onto your fingers, um... It sticks onto the surface you work on sometimes, if it's like this wet. Um, if you condition it more, it, of course it will stick. Um, when you put it on a sculpture that you're making like a cat, uh, I don't recommend um, using this clay for making detailed objects because stuff will fall off and then you can't fix it again. Um, but unless they're bigger pieces more than this thick, can you just put um, super glue or just white um, white glue and it will stay just like let it stay for like an hour or 24 hours and it will go back to normal but if it's really detailed and it's really thin and small parts of your clay sculpture it's not gonna work at all so yeah um, overall it's a really good clay to use charms but again, it's not really good for detail charms. Um, it's good for putting texture on for a deco den. But again, it cracks sometimes, and it's not really great. So yeah, but like you can put in sequences in it and stuff like that. So it's really just a clay that is normal, and you don't really like put it in a lot of effort into. That's what it's good for. But like again. It's not really a recommended clay, so yeah. But anyways, that's that. Um, that's Crayola Air Dry Clay, and I hope you like my review. Bye.